because when I tallied the money numbers, it was 4,026. So there may be some more there. Um, the 1,200 and pounds of food, that's great. That's awesome. Yeah, I know the goal, yeah, was 500 pounds of food. So that's amazing for the Maui Food Bank. And then if you guys didn't see, Dylan posted the uh, video, one of the videos, which Latasha wraps up the ending of so beautifully <laughs> uh, on our private Facebook page. So be sure to share that. And the total masks that we handed out to the healthcare workers, including the cloth masks and the surgical masks, was 700, over 700. So that was amazing as well. So thank you to everybody who contributed to that. Um, you know, I don't have my notes. I actually wrote down some notes from Bold this morning that I wanted to share. Uh, so those of you who are on Bold, you might have to share your notes. I do remember one thing that I was going to talk about was. First of all, uh, those of you who are on, isn't Cody Gibson great? He's one of the Bolt coaches. He's one of the top agents in the entire company. So he was on today with James Shaw. And he talked about value versus con just consistency in touches. So when we talk about, that's why we're so focused on care calls right now, because yes, it's important, number one, to be consistent in your messages to clients and do that you know, have a system in place so that you're, you're top of mind. I mean, that you have to be top of mind when they need you. So that's why the consistency part is there. And then he really stressed the value piece so that, that they'll be much more receptive to getting emails and receiving information from you if there's value provided. And he told a great story about um, reaching out to people because you feel like there's value that you can provide and he talked about in an airport, the analogy he used was an airport, which he said was funny given the times that we're in right now, but you, you'll get the picture. So let's say you were walking behind somebody in an airport and that person dropped their boarding pass and didn't notice and, and was walking away. Would you go pick up the boarding pass and run after them and say, hey, you dropped this? I mean, would you? Tell me if you would. You're going to have to tell me. Let me see if you can. <laughs> yes. Of course. Right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's of course. Now that item, is that a valuable item for that person? You already know it is, right? And you do you have any issue with interrupting them? No. No, there's no issue with that. You don't even question it. You're like, man, this is an important thing. I need to get this to this person because it's a value to them. And I don't care if I have to interrupt them. And I don't care if they're a complete stranger. So I thought that was a really interesting analogy, the yeah, idea being that if you are, if there is something of value that you are providing to somebody, you don't worry about bugging them or interrupting them or overloading them with information because it's valuable information that could really help that person. And especially if that person needs that, which you may or may not know, obviously, you know, the person needs their boarding pass, but you get the point, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. Yes. So who else had uh, something from this morning? I'd love to hear a couple of your takeaways from today or any other things that you've been on training lately. And then I'm going to let Dylan take over so I can go into my appointment, which I'm is in three minutes. So give me, give me one person, at least give me a takeaway while I'm still on. Uh, Lisa, to piggyback on what you were saying, uh, the quote that, uh, he used that I really liked um, was consistency brings mind share awareness value brings mind share popularity yes that was it I wrote that down that was great Marcus say it again consistency brings mind share awareness and value brings mind share popularity people will want to yeah. deal with you yes mind share awareness that's the consistency which you have to have they have to think of you. And then the popularity part, the value is that they think of you and they think well of you and they think I want to work with this person because they care about me and they provide value. Thank you, Marcus, that is awesome. Okay, with that, I am gonna sign off so I can go to my appointment and you guys are awesome and I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh no, I won't see you tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. Have a great weekend <laughs> and Dylan, it's all you. You got it, you good? I saw you. Where are you? Thanks, Lisa. Okay, you're welcome. I want to make sure Dylan's coming on. You're, he's muted. He doesn't look like he's muted.
Check one, two. Can you hear me? There you are. All okay, right. Good. Thank you. All right, all right. Drive That's safe, good. Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. How's it going, everybody? Good. Where is it? Uh, who's, all, who's all on here? Chris, okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What did we get so far? Did we talk about bold this morning? Um, I think everyone on the call is on bold. So that's great. I want to do, a, did Lisa do a big overview on uh, Red Day yesterday? Did she do that yet? Yeah, she did. She, she uh, talked about quite a bit of it. Who was, all, who was all part of Red Day yesterday? I want to see hands raised. Can, how do I see more people? No one's on their video right now. It's just me and Cheryl and Natasha. Can anyone turn their video on? Can I see some, can I see some faces? Oh. There we go. Thanks, Lucy. Hi, Sam. Anybody? I want to see some more faces. Thank you. Thank you. It's so much more present. It's like we're all a part of this now and we can see faces. So um, I had a great time with Red Dad. Thanks. Hi, Chris. How's it going? Good to see you. <laughs> this is much better. Um, we had a, just a fun time. I really want to thank Liza and, and, and Randy. They, they did that food drive kind of last minute, but it was so fun you guys, we had the Koa Puna motorcycle gang stop by, um, and it was so, oh, he was driving. That's oh, okay, then we'll give you a break. Uh, Ariel doesn't want to break the camera, that's funny. Um, but yeah, even thanks for stopping by yesterday and donating. Um, but tons of people donated, and there's so much food. I almost broke my back trying to carry the barrel up the stairs here in Kahului. Um, so that was a funny sight. You should have seen, there's like a ton of food out there in the office, because I had to take it all out of the barrel to bring it up the stairs. There's um, an elevator. Anyway, there's an elevator. Yeah, Sam, no one told me that yesterday. So where were you then? I'm just kidding. So I didn't know about the elevator in the office uh, until this morning. And I've, yeah, I've heard that three times now. So, um, but it was just really cool. Did anyone do anything else? Did, it, did anyone do anything just in their own personal lives to give back other than the office thing? I want to hear what you guys are doing to donate and give back in other ways. Anybody? No one's giving back any other way. We've given fish to um, one of our our neighborhood elders. That's awesome. Um, I have a give back. Um, my husband yeah. took out like three hams, big hams and chicken and uh, ground hamburger meat to Hana to neighbors and Kupuna that he knew might want and need um, a couple days back. And so we he just wow. did a Hana run and shared some goodies and then came back. Thank you to you and your husband for that. I did some stuff. Um, I'm the yeah. board president for Big Brother Big Sister. And um, some of our, the staff are having some issues because they haven't um, gotten their unemployment checks. And so many of them are in great need. So I organized um, the committee or the board, and we were able to get some boxes of food donated yesterday and today. And then we were um, handing, basically just um, taking our own personal money and then just giving it and making sure that all of the staff had at least food on their table. So we were doing that wow. yesterday and today. So thank you. That's yeah. huge. Um, I know. Oh, yeah. Terry, yeah, go ahead. I donated my old laptop to um, my Hanai family because they've got three kids and with the homeschooling, not everyone can get on and do their homework. So mm. now they're so happy because they've got an extra laptop for everyone to learn at the same time. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for doing that. I mean, this is so big. I honestly, to me, what I had a big moment with Red Day yesterday, I was reflecting on it. A, I was almost in tears delivering your guys' masks to the nurses. Like there's just this really overwhelming emotional moment when I got to sit with all of them and hand them their masks and they were really grateful. Um, and one of them is a really good friend of mine and it was just so emotional uh, for me. And, and, and I thought about how important, how cool and excited I was to work for a company and, uh, and be in business with all of you that were in a company that puts that value really in the forefront of what we do and, and giving back to the community. And it was really cool. I'm friends with a lot of other team leaders across the world on Facebook. And it was so cool seeing like thousands and thousands of KW associates all over the world in all these different countries doing things to the different areas. So, um, and then it just, it was just a mindset thing too. I think donating is a, and, and 
part of Red Day that we don't really focus on is the renew and energize part. So I hope you guys, if you didn't do it yesterday, take a day, maybe this weekend to, you know, treat yourself to something, treat yourself too, not just giving back to other people, but um, yeah, treat yourselves, take a time to just breathe and, and look back on, on your why and, and your business. Um, I think part of the, that first, those first two letters in red day, the renew and the energize have just been looked over maybe a little bit by a lot of us. And I think they're, you know, that's two thirds of the whole day should be renew and energize. It's not, you know, donates a, a third of it, but the other two things are so important and so crucial, I think, to coming up with, uh, you know, moving forward with your business. So if you didn't get a chance to renew and energize yesterday and, you know, uh, and, and just celebrate really, uh, to me, it was a celebration of being able to work with, with this company. Um, but yeah, renew and energize. I think, do that this weekend if you guys haven't had a chance to do that yet. It's it's a depressing time for some of us. Probably most of us, we've all felt it. So it's super important, I think, more than ever to do that. Um, whether you know you're religious and it's praying or not, and whatever your religion is, or meditating, uh, connecting with family and friends, I think that's so important. Um, do we do so? Oh, sorry, I didn't want to skip. Rosalina said. She helped her brother, who is a chef at the Grand Wailea, put together a 200-plate lunch of Ponsit for the firemen and police officers. Yes. Wow, uh, Rosalina. That's so impressive. Thank you. Yeah, my brother wants to, yeah, he likes to help out even the, for the frontliners. Um, the other time, two weeks ago, he did some for the, some of the nurses at the hospital, did the same thing. So he likes to give away food, I guess. Nice. <laughs> that's good helped him that well thank, thank you. you thank you for doing that and to you and your brother do we do bucket filling yet did these do that earlier all right let's fill some buckets i want to i'm on a bucket filled let's hear it come on joyce fill a bucket i'll say something i'm grateful for dylan because uh <laughs> it was great to see you yesterday you know i knew you were thrown into that the last minute it wasn't part of the plan and then it uh, it turned out great. So thank you for jumping in oh. there and doing what you did for Red Day yesterday. It was great Thanks. to drive up to see you and balloons and just made it fun to participate. Thanks. I know it was so tempting. Thank you not to hug you. <laughs> I know, right? That was really difficult because I saw Cheryl's finally face and I haven't seen you for <laughs> so long now. I just wanted to run up and give you a big hug, but couldn't do that. Soon enough. Thank you. Soon enough. <laughs> Soon enough. What else? What other buckets? Well, I think we just have to ditto on that because I'm sorry I was entrenched in um, escrow voodoo. So oh. I was not able to leave the house and my husband tore his Achilles. So I've oh. been, I'm, I'm like everything. So, but thank you so much, Dylan and all of the staff. And you guys were amazing. I was following it um, as best as can on Facebook and watching oh. all your posts. Super I'm cool. sorry you were in crazy. Thank you. Um, and I'm sorry to hear about your husband's heel. Achilles, yeah. Yeah, my vacation's over. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> oh, that's, what's the, what happened? What did he do? Um, see, he was trying to help somebody with a stalled vehicle at Long's, and he went to help push the car, and it popped. <laughs> Gosh, that sucks. You know, you help out, you go out of your way to help someone out, and you yeah you pop your that's yeah. that's rough well thank well, you and, uh, you do a lot to get back joyce um all the time so you know it's not just one day right thank you so much yeah thank you anybody else got some buckets is that oh, oh sorry lucy thanks team for all great assistance for us and the community thank you lucy appreciate you I know I had a fun time yesterday. A lot of it for me right now, you guys. And thanks for you know all of you being so welcoming to me. It's been interesting doing this role without being able to see a lot of you um, face to face. It's just it's a different. I've never had. I'm sure a lot of us is unprecedented times, but I've never started a position or a role before and not gotten to meet anyone that I work with face to face. It's so weird for me. It's been I've gotten to talk to a lot of people. I've met a small handful of you guys, and it's just been. It's still been really amazing to talk to you all, and, and I, I, I can't wait till this is over. Um, I really thrive on face-to-face on, on -face and events, 
and celebrating with people in person. It's kind of my thing. So once this is done, we're all going to have some pretty awesome pauhanas and some pretty great events together. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for that. But yeah, yesterday I got to meet some people and that was just, honestly, you guys, it energized me like nothing else. Just meet some agents of, that work for, with us and our business partners, right? I, I don't get to see everyone. So yesterday was really exciting on that front. Um, anyone Dylan, have any, I, yeah. Can I ask you, did we have um, people that donated that weren't part of KW with the food drive, like at the mall or was it all? Oh KW? yeah. No, 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 it was really great. Thanks for asking that. Um, we had a lot of agents donate age, uh, and staff uh, come by and, and give. But we also, so what I, what I did yesterday, it was supposed to be from 10 to noon. And then it was so beautiful outside that I just decided to sit at the table all day in front of the bank. And I put all these balloons out there. And I just brought my laptop down and started working. And we were right outside the bank. And so I kept like kind of like waving at everyone as they walked by the credit union under our Kahalui office. And people were kind of like, oh, it's a food bank. So they kept giving me 20s and throwing it in their pot because uh, they were all getting cash out at the ATM. So uh, it was kind of great. Yeah, a lot of people came by. I had friends, a lot of my personal friends came by uh, and dropped off, a couple people dropped off 50 pound bags of rice, which was so generous, but it was so such a pain in the butt at the end of the day, if you want to know the truth, <laughs> when I was carrying it. And I didn't know about the elevator. So I had all these bags of rice uh, that I was left with. Um, but no, it was really cool to have, uh, yeah, a lot of thanks, Sam, a lot for asking that, a lot of people. And then in Kihei, the Koapuna Motorcycle Group, and like I said earlier, but you guys, that moment was pretty magical. Um, just these big, you know, rough motorcycle guys, they're tons of food. They had a truck that came with them, you know, that they drove up with that they unloaded like 200 or 300 pounds of food. And they were just so happy to give back these motors, these bikers, you know, and they were just so friendly and they took pictures with us. And yeah, it was really cool. Um, personally, go, I know I grew up on Maui. Um, and it, this is why I came back to work here. Really, I, there's no other place to, to live and work, I think, than, than our community here and anywhere in Hawaii. But I know for me, it's like God, working in Maui and doing business here is like nowhere else. Um, so that was, yeah be a lot of people from all over donate yesterday uh any big wins anyone some some deals what's going on in, in the business i want to hear some um i went into escrow today the on your puklani house for the third time so three yeah. is a charm <laughs> so <laughs> that's awesome nice job is this how's the buyer in this they, they seem a little bit more Let's, just, the first let's just take a deep breath and surf it all the way to closing. <laughs> yes, you got this. Third time's a charm. That's awesome. Congratulations. I mean, you've done a great job marketing that listing, Joyce. Really. Thank you. I've it's been seeing it property, all over. Think, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you know, there's buyers. There, I'm, I still have requests for showings. Um, I think for buyers who are qualified and approved, it's a kid in a candy store. There's no one else mm -hmm. looking but people who live here. So I, mm -hmm. I, that's one of the things I'm sh sharing to my buyers. And like, look, until they lift that, in, that quarantine, you're inside the candy store, you know, and, no, and there's maybe yeah. three others and that's it in your category. So right. if you love it, get it. Because when they lift that quarantine, I have a feeling it's going to be like, you know, first day at the beach. <laughs> I love it. Uh, did you say you're the only kid in the candy store? Is that what you yeah. said? I <laughs> love that. That's, that's your marketing. I want to see someone do an ad, a, a real estate ad right now on their Facebook that says, you're the only kid in the candy store. That should be an <laughs> ad on everyone's social media right now. That's awesome. Uh, any other wins? Any, anyone else could have deals going? Looking around. Okay, that's all right. Um, anyone with listings that they need help with? What, what, other, what listings do we have out there? I'm listening. Someone's up. No? Homes and Chocolate, what are you guys up to? Wait, are you there? Yep, yeah. I'm sorry I'm late. We, no, actually okay. have, we actually have our Hilo Weekly on Fridays from three to four. Oh. So I was like, let's get, let's get to you guys. Let's so kind of cool is I 
I ask them, you know, where are you guys at? Yeah. And it's kind of cool because four of them have one new listing this week. What? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And two of them have one, two, two of them have new escrows. And so, um, you know, they're, they're, they're doing pretty good. They're keeping their head down and, and staying focused. And awesome. Kitty and I have a closing next week. Um, million dollar property, cash buyer, um, and they, nice. it's bittersweet because we helped them buy a home and it got covered by the lava. So, oh, yeah, gosh. so it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a little bittersweet for this because it's, oh. it's a home for them that they can call there forever um, and they were affected by the lava. So, yeah, that's what's happening on the big island Those, as far as listings. You guys have a whole different world out there. I mean, not <laughs> everyone gets to, yeah. <laughs> I never had that in Minneapolis when I was doing real estate and there was no lava involved and there. We had tornadoes once in a while, but that's yeah, totally different. We love it. But, I mean, we could, the yeah. lava flow, the ocean and see the snow on the mountain. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, you guys have everything <laughs> over there. That's, it's, <laughs> thanks for, congratulations to the Hilo team. You guys are just, it's so exciting that we're growing yeah. over there. Yeah, pretty uh, exciting. Yeah, sending definitely shockwaves across your island, I'm sure in the real estate world. So nice work. Any other wins? Big W's? Did Lisa already do bold takeaways? Anybody? She did a couple, but she um, didn't have her notes. She didn't have her notes, but did she, did everyone else share their bold takeaways right now already? Yeah, a couple of people did, yes. Okay. Well, see, I, I was late too, Rochelle. I, so I could not, I, th I clicked the wrong Zoom link in my calendar for this meeting and so, I, I was waiting and waiting like, wow, it's five minutes. They should have started this already. And sure enough, That was me happened. and Nicole last week. She was like, Rochelle. I go, yes. She goes, we're in the wrong link. I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that was yeah. us last week. Yeah, that happens. Um, awesome. Well, I'm glad there's some wins and some business going. Does anyone have any questions? Is there anyone that needs support in anything? Who needs help? Is there anybody that wants to reach out to our little group here? There's only 15 of us. 16 now. Excuse me but we're mighty. We're a mighty group. Does anyone need, have anything that they need support in? I mean, is there anyone that wants to reach out or if not, it's totally cool. I just thought I'd ask because um, we're all here to help each other. So if you do let us know here at the staff or, you know, we, we can always reach out, but um, cause I want to see more wins next to by, by Monday. So if there's not enough wins being shared right now, let's, uh, <laughs> let's make sure to reach out and, and uh, you know, ask how we can, can help you get those things going because by the time Monday comes around, even with 16 of us, we should all have a win of some sort. So if you're not having enough wins in your life, let me know. I'll come drop off flowers so you can announce that next week. Anyway, um, we have our Pauhana in a half hour. So uh, I'm at the office. I don't know our rules on champagne at the desk, but uh, <laughs> I don't know how that, okay, cool. I might have a glass of champagne then <laughs> to see you in a, in a half hour. And I think uh, that- If it doesn't belong to you, you had to replace it, that's all. Oh, I won't drink anybody else's, no. <laughs> no I won't good. do that. You're good. No, I didn't, I didn't know if there's, I might have a water, who knows. Um, but it's Friday, so it's, you know, it's kind of the end of the week. It's been a big week this week too. So um, we have that. We're going to do, just so you guys, if you haven't been on those, calls. I have some trivia questions ready. Rochelle, do you have some trivia questions? Are you ready for this one? Oh, sweet. Thank you. I'm so glad because I only have a few. Um, so we'd it's turned into, it's really the Friday Pauhanas have turned into trivia is really what's happened on those, um, which I'm okay with that direction. I think everyone's been really fun to learn random facts. And then usually we all, what happens is we, Rochelle or Lisa or myself have a trivia question and then everyone guesses the answer, we figure the answer, and then someone usually shares a personal factoid that relates to that trivia question, like, you know, some, we, some house celebrities got brought up, and then everyone on the call shared the most famous person they've, they've ever met. Um, we found out that Joyce had Keanu Reeves over to her house for dinner, which, Joyce, you could share that as a win every day. Really, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe I can figure out how to upload that photo because I was I was yes. in my sweat and my <laughs> it wasn't so my funny. my attire for Keanu Reeves, but it was fun. 
That's so awesome. So we share stuff like that. It's a really fun. Oh, Errol asks, Errol, I'm going to save that question for the, for the Pauhana. So you can come on the Pauhana and ask that because then I can get you there, hopefully. Um, but no, it's a lot of fun. I think it's, it's fun to learn about each other. Although Lisa, when we asked Lisa who the most famous person she had ever met was, she said, oh, I don't know. I know too many famous people to say. I'm like, all right. Um, <laughs> he said, what, Errol said, what's the biggest, oh, I won't, I won't, I, oh, I won, I think is what he's trying to say, a pair of ticks, tickets to an NBA game in Washington, D.C. for answering it correctly. Okay, Errol, what's the biggest recorded snowflake? He's, you got to say it now, Errol. 15 inches. How did you know that? <laughs> Errol? A little thing called Google. <laughs> Wild guess? Wild guess. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That's a big snowflake. No How Google. do they know that? How do they know? There was no Google at the time when I won that. Okay. It's just a wild guess. How do they measure that? Because by the time, I don't know. Okay, that's a weird question. I, I'm most curious on how, because it, once it hits the ground, I mean, doesn't it shrink? Anyway. Ellen, I've had a few celebrities at my events. I actually had the wedding, okay. I had the wedding crasher, Owen Wilson crash one of my weddings on Maui. No wow. way. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I love that. Yes. It was, oh, it's it so was epic. Funny. It was hysterical. Yes. Did you let him crash it? Yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, I would too. <laughs> yeah, good call. Good call. <laughs> I would have let him, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, so we did a lot of give stuff. I mean, it's, yeah, give me your card. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, you could do events for him. So, um, all right, it's about 4.30, so I think we have a half hour. I'm going to try and find, whip up a cocktail here in Kahului in a half hour for our Pauhana and then come back. But uh, I'd love to see you guys on there. Um, Latasha, do you mind just doing a quick little thing in the group about it? Yeah. Do you mind throwing something in the Facebook group with the link? Sorry, I'm gonna run real quick or else I'd do it. Yeah, um, let me do a minute, yeah. Sorry to ask you right now, but <laughs> Latasha, let's give it up what's Latasha your... for always being so great, by the way. She's always so hey. helpful. And especially when you're sending out 25 emails a day, it feels like right now and designing them all and keeping us sanitary and uh, <laughs> keeping, making sure everyone's safe in the office. Um, so thank you, Latasha. All uh, right, so that's 4.30. Um, I hope to see you guys at five and have a great weekend if you don't tune in then. Um, I'm just, I just wanna say I'm super excited and grateful uh, to be in business with all of you. Um, I'm really proud of this company and I'm proud to be a part of Keller Williams Maui and, and, and Big Island Divisions. I think, yeah, I just, it's, it, every time I get to meet someone new and talk to someone that's on our team here, I'm more and more impressed. So um, glad to be a business all of you. Have a great weekend. Do big things. Live your big lives. Hope to see you at five. Bye-bye. Aloha. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.